NASA's top administrator was in Washington, D.C. today telling lawmakers why the space agency needs $26 billion. So the goal is to have enough money to send astronauts back to the moon, all while changing the way the agency pays for services. News 6's James Barvero has a closer look at the request. You get it done cheaper. When he was a United States senator, Bill Nelson was a key advocate for funding the space launch system. But after 11 years of development, racking up $20 billion for contractors, now Nelson proposing to current lawmakers to only pay companies when they reach their milestones. And that allows us to move away from what has been a plague on us in the past. Those comments as Nelson is trying to persuade Congress to support NASA's $26 billion budget request. That would be an increase for lunar exploration, as NASA now targets 2025 for the Artemis III mission to land astronauts on the moon. Right now, the SLS is inside the vehicle assembly building for repairs after testing at Kennedy Space Center last month. Until that wet dress rehearsal can be complete, the Artemis I launch will continue to be delayed. Can you tell us today that if you get your budget request, that you will be able to make that 2025 date for the landing. Artemis will certainly, through the SLS rocket and the Orion spacecraft, be ready. Nelson also wants Congress to support NASA's proposal to develop a second lunar lander alongside the SpaceX Starship. Nelson on Capitol Hill using the military as an example, testifying that competition in spaceflight has saved the U.S. Armed Forces $40 billion. On the Space Coast, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.